Hey everybody, it's Jennifer. So I uh, thought I would give you an update on the latest that's going down with me. And that is, I'm finally on the heart transplant waiting list. I'm very excited by this. Nervous because, well, you know, it's a heart transplant. It's open heart surgery. It's kind of a big deal. Um, but I'm also really excited because it's taken me four months of medical procedures, um, hospitalization, and giving blood, sweat, and tears to this project. So it's finally come, and um, this is good news for me. Uh, it also means that I am stuck at my sister's house, which is it's not a bad thing, but it means I can't go home. Um, because I cannot leave the organ procurement zone and I live outside the zone three hours away and um, if I I could set up an air ambulance um, but if that air ambulance is used and called upon and I have to fly home or fly to to the hospital for the transplant it's like twenty thousand dollars that insurance doesn't cover and insurance will only cover a facility that is out of my hometown so um but that's not a horrible thing because my support system is here and my mom is here my mom is going through cancer treatment for ovarian cancer um she's responding really well to the chemo but you know she's bald and it's a journey it's very arduous very difficult um, and, um, when I'm not at a doctor's appointment and she's not at chemo, sometimes I go over to her house and take a nap. <laughs> we nap together. It's a very exciting day. What else can I tell you? Being on the heart transplant list is kind of surreal. Um, when I tell people this, they ask me when I'm going to get the heart or when I'm having the surgery. I don't know. It could be two weeks, two months, two years, as I have said often um, I don't I don't know when my O positive donor will die so I can't predict that and uh, it's a very anxiety provoking for me but um, such is the case gotta go with the flow gotta go with it um, I did go on a bucket list trip I went to Florida which is like the perfect place if you're in a wheelchair or um, diabetic. And um, I went, um, I rented a motor scooter and um, went to Universal Studios, which was exhausting, but so exciting and so nice to be out of my outside world. Like it just, it planted me in another place and it's exactly what I needed and um, um, just a nice distraction from my everyday life, which is usually medical appointments. I will tell you, now that I'm on the transplant list, I sleep with my phone next to me. I have a loud, obnoxious ringer, and um, I, I'm very nervous about missing any calls. In fact, if I, I've gone like 45 minutes to an hour where like the hospitals called and left me a message and I called them back and my transplant coordinator has said things like you took 45 minutes to call me back I'm like oh my god <laughs> so it's very stressful um because you know basically you're supposed to answer every call even if it's the middle of the night so I almost want to tell friends and family don't call me if you love me don't call me because <laughs> it's just so stressful text me um you know, so that's been an interesting experience. Um, I know I seem bright and bubbly and, you know, I, I try my best to be bright and bubbly. Um, but I, I have been sleeping a lot and things really tire me out and things really stress me out pretty easily. Like I don't have the you know, the hard tortoise shell that maybe I used to have. Um, uh, I had an experience at a grocery store that wouldn't provide me carry out. I was in my electronic cart and I asked them for carry out and they were like, no, we don't do that. And I was like, I, I need this. Like I was, it was like 15 items, you know, it was a small shop because that's all I can do. 
and I park in handicap and you know it's it, it was all I could do to load the items on the on the belt let alone to think I had to load them in the car I, I was like oh my god you know and of course somebody unloads them when I get home and stuff and I just I broke down in tears sobbing in the middle of the store because I was like I, I can't shop here I can't do this if you don't help me and um, I had to go out to the parking lot and find a parking attendant to help me it was it was awful. Most places are really great and very helpful. Um, and I don't know why this cashier wouldn't help me. I think that, you know, that day I had my makeup on. Maybe I looked too healthy. Like maybe I was faking it. Maybe she couldn't see my IV coming from my arm. I don't really know. I, I just, I, I'm, I'm baffled that somebody would challenge somebody that is asking for help. It really, it really saddened me. But it's another day, and um, most people are very helpful. Um, what are some other things? My hair is thinning from a medication I'm taking for blood thinners. That's really disappointing. Oh, that's my nephew. He's crying. Um, luckily, I don't have to go take care of him in the middle of the night. But I am going to end this video. All right. Like my videos, um, subscribe, uh, talk to you soon. Bye.